Hey all, this is a video about my new song called Guiltless. I'm gonna talk about why I wrote it, how I wrote it, how to play it, and then I'll probably do like a little DIY karaoke track for you to sing along to at the end if you can't be asked to learn how. But it really is very easy. It's literally two chords. Anyway, quick side note, I'll be playing this <gasps> I'll be playing this live tomorrow morning on channel four on Sunday brunch. Yes. I'll be there from nine thirty AM in the morning on the sofa, chatting to all the guests. Doing a bit of cooking, chop, chop, chop. and then I'll be playing it to sing out the show. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous. I'll also be playing this song on my tour in the US of A and Canada. I still don't know if those two things align, but I'll find out on my tour, which you can come to. If you want to hear the songs I've written live and watch me play and sing in a nice room, Full of nice people there are tickets to come hey editing dodi here i'm also playing two festivals this summer i'm playing belladrum and truck festival the lineup is insane to both please come and see my set it will be a banging time pro it would be great a great time okay please come all right into the video so this is my favorite interview question at the moment why did i write guiltless what is it about well it's tough because it was so juicy to write about it kind of skirts around a topic that i find difficult to talk about and like access in my brain and soul. I can't even think about it too much otherwise it messes me up so it's a great thing that I'm doing a whole marketing campaign around it. I really enjoyed it when people who get it get it you know and they just kind of like silently get it because if you get it then you'd know that it's way too damn complex to ever really talk about especially publicly. Dodi, how did you write Guiltless? Well so I started the song with the outro, the end section, because I had written in a round before. And I really liked it, it was a fun challenge. It's fun to kind of make the melodies make sense, but also make sense together and like build up a chord. So that was really fun to do again. Give me a D. I began with, I'm not bitter, I'm just tired. No use getting angry at the way that you're wired. Because I'd had a therapy session. This has been really fun to bring to interviews because every time you mention mental health or therapy, it kind of is like, huh. In the therapy session, we practiced forgiving people for the way that they were raised and the things they were taught and their situations that led them to be the way that they are and the way that they would treat you and like forgiving their parents and their ancestors and all of that. Like many things have happened to like raise these people who look after you and it's not their fault that they are the way that they are it might be a bit anyway it was just an interesting thing to explore and kind of learn how to forgive so then came i could never let you know Ooh. fun fact i always sing that never sh uh flat anyway i wrote that line because that's where a lot of guilt sits in my body like the whole never thing kind of ties into the feeling of this is just the way I will always feel. This is where like that black hole feeling comes from. Do you ever get it when like there's a dark, dark pit in your life, like in your brain that you could dig into and you do now and again, like when you're drunk or like it hits. Um, but for the most part, you just kind of, just kind of shove that aside. Yeah, that's kind of where that line came from. Okay. Then I wrote, is it real? You believe? Guiltless. Because I needed that phrase to be almost like a question. I wanted to sing it real delicately along the top. I also just needed a top melody bit. So once I wrote all of those and made them kind of like fit together as a round, I was like, well, this, this ain't a song. Luckily, I think each of the phrases that I'd written fit really well into a verse, a pre-chorus, and then a chorus. Now, I realised that this song was two chords. Um, I have a habit of like just settling in when something sounds nice and sometimes I'm like oh, if I added more chords it would just be for the sake of like this song should probably have more chords but I don't know I, I was never bored with it and I, I wanted I'd always kind of wanted to write like a Fleetwood Mac-esque like two song two chord two chord song that never got boring I was a little scared but I think the phrasing kind of carries it through it's all right my favorite bit of my own song is um the line Less, but I don't think I'd feel better if I open your eyes because um it kind of reminds me of that song it's like a classical piece it goes 
I can't remember how it goes. It's like this really long classical music piece. I'll put the name of it. But it just builds slowly and slowly. It's just the same thing again and again. There's this one moment where, I don't know what part it is, but they hit this note. It fights against the scale of what you think it should be. And it even like syncopates it at one point. It goes like... Da, 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 da. And then, I don't know. It's just so like clashy, but not such an interesting part. Anyway. Um, oh, fun musical fact for you. This song is in Mixolydian. I didn't write it that way. I just kind of heard that it needed to be a C natural instead of a C sharp. Yes, it's a mode. This one is in a mode. So anyway, I think I like that line because it hits that note and it's so satisfying to like hear it. I don't know. It's just interesting. So there were quite a few versions of Guiltless because at first I had the demo, which sounded like this. It was a lot slower, a little bit boring. And I brought it to my good pal and producer, Joe Rubel. Um, who did Monster with me and Human. He's great. First we just kind of like shoved everything in there. Part number six. Eight. We've kind of got a system of doing that, like putting everything together, leaving it for a while, me being like, it's not quite bad. Taking a lot out of it, adding in some new parts, just when the deadline is there. And then being like, yes, we did it. So yeah, at first we made the first chorus like massive, like it dropped into this giant thing. And then listen back to the demo and I needed that full start, like that question in the chorus where it goes, don't say it's genetic. And then like a, is it right? Like a, hmm, I don't know. Um, so I needed it to kind of be stripped, but I still wanted that creepy undertone. So I asked to just have that like low, um, I think it's a cello note, like, and like a lot of synthy kind of things. A mo moog, just going like, nice. So now it's just kind of this like light question with like these little pats and then just does like, ah. So, how do you play it? Well, grab yourself a baritone ukulele. Uh, where is mine? This is so easy, it's gonna be over in two seconds. Go up to your seventh fret. Hit the first three strings with your fingers and mute this one with your little finger. We'll, we'll do that bit in a second. If you don't want to do the plucking pattern, it's just this. And then move down. I'm not very good at instruments, I don't know if you gathered that. I just do what I can so I can write songs. Um, then the fun little bottom, I still find hard if I'm honest. You kind of take your finger off and then slap it back on and it will make a note. So here's what both fingers are doing. So this will like, dum. so you pluck that and then as it comes on, it'll pluck it for you and then you go. And that's it. You just gotta play that at 1.145 ppm, which I still struggle at doing. And if you just wanna play it on anything else, it is just D to C. There's a few clarinet parts and string parts that I wrote. Um, the clarinet part, if you want, is as follows. Bear in mind, this is a B flat clarinet, so the notes I'm shouting out aren't the actual notes that you will hear, but they are the notes, the fingering. So it goes E. A nice bottom E. Also, I bought a new mouthpiece, and now it sounds very nice. B natural. So it's E, B, A, E. Is that right? Then you go E, B, E, D. Don't say it's genetic. That's it. Friends. Right, um, I will leave you with a little karaoke version of this to sing along if you want. The music video is coming real soon. It is so cool. Pretty painful to film, but it's so cool. <laughs> Feel free to tune in on Sunday Brunch. God, I, I don't want to taboo it. Like, I'm like, will people watching this video back be like, Haha, this is the video before she fucked up on Sunday Brunch. Oh, please no. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. Goodbye. Thank you so much for um, all of your response on it. I've been reading some of the comments. Okay, listen, my camera ran out of card footage. Let me know what you think of the song and what your favourite line is. Or your favourite part. Why not? Okay, bye. Peace. Oh, I just kissed you.